Good morning guys, it is August 3rd I think today and we are going to go out do some mowing. Um, let's see here. We are going to load up. Let me move this. You have a ran one of these? Oh, okay. Uh, there's a choke. There's a choke. Close that up, bud. All right, so we are down person, two person, two nicks out. Man, nobody wants to work or what? <laughs> we got two nicks gone. So that's what's hard about the business is. Uh, we gotta deal with all stuff like this. So. All right, time to fill up this, these bobcats, and it is a little cool this morning, guys. guys it is only gonna be like in the 60s today Burr. getting them all filled up all right guys we are gonna head out and go do a few mowing. We've got probably only three, three today to do. So yeah. All right, guys. So we are out on our first location and training the new guy on the quick cat. So yeah, this is his first time ever operating these types of mower and so he's doing pretty good and yeah it's just hard like I said um, the hardest the hardest thing about running a business guys is employees you know it's hard to find good employees and keep good employees so you just constantly got to keep training and do do your best because you know sometimes no matter what you do people aren't gonna stay people aren't gonna stay with you, the company so you know um, so but like I said the other two Nick they're out today and that other Nick is gone till next week so he's got some personal personal stuff he's got to deal with so. but other than that guys Today it's just mowing and I'm just gonna train this new guy. Think you can maneuver? I think so. Okay, okay. Go ahead, turn it on. Okay. So to 
gauge, you just pull this, then the, the oh, blades okay. will spin. And this is this is our to drop the deck down. Okay. And then um, here, okay. right there, we'll keep it at that. And so when when you're gonna go mow, just drop that, and then turn this on, and then go. Like there's some tombstones you can go around, but the other ones will have to weed whack, like the ones that you can't get to mow. Right. And, so yeah, get as close as you can, and then come back. And then I'll teach you how, like when when you get a feel of it, I'll, and I'll teach you how to stripe it so that it looks nice, okay. which lines to follow and stuff. Okay. So, In go reverse, ahead. we just backwards, right? Yep, yep. Reverse, reverse is just like you're forward, you know. Right. Like you control it just like that. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. He's doing pretty good, so let's bring out the other one, the um, Predator Pro. Guys, we got done mowing a little bit early and now Michael's cleaning up around the place and yeah, I just needed some weed eating trimming all right so we are gonna train Michael how to ride the or run the bobcat Go ahead, Michael. so even though we've got this little bit of time this afternoon after we got done mowing the lawn so I thought I'd train him how to run this and operate this because Michael's planning on to be with us this winter too to help with the snow removal so get him familiar with the equipment so what I'm gonna do is have him scoop play with a uh, rock pile practice um, scooping the rock and dumping the rock with the bucket I was telling him about the three-point turn um, as he's practicing turning here I'd rather have him practice on this on our place with the gravel and stuff here than on a grass turf at a uh, customer's house so the three-point turn just eliminates the tear on the grass and yard and it's very important to do that Michael has had no experience running the Bobcat, so that's why it's nice to have this big area for them, the new uh, hire to practice on. So now what I want him to do is, he's gonna scoop the rocks and then Pick it up and then shake, rock it a little bit so that the rocks aren't falling off on the bucket. And then he's gonna just pretend like he's gonna go load up a truck. And so he's gonna ride around the um, property here and then come back and dump it. So. Turn up your throttle a little bit. Yeah, that's how I started out learning how to run a Bobcat, a skid steer too. 
um, what I did was I was renting a skid steer or before I even rented it I went to a penning rental uh, years ago and I asked him if I I told him I didn't know how to run and operate one so Jake from Henning Rental um, actually put me in a skin loader for the first time and then he had a class 5 rock a power rock at um, his shop their shop so um, he stuck me in it taught me how the basics and he said go play in the rock pile and so that's exactly what I'm doing to um, the new ones that come in or that's what I'm doing to the ones that I employ now um, you train them you teach them get them familiar with everything because it's um, one wrong move you know it's it can be bad it can, it can be costing so up the shop and then he's gonna come back down and keep practicing on the skid load I gotta go talk to a few clients I'm losing my voice Please. So, yeah Michael's never ran a skid steer or a bobcat but uh, I think it's gonna be a good learning experience for him new ones that come in and start working for us even though if they don't stay with us I think that they get a, the experience of um, what all happens in you know in this business so uh, it's a good experience for any of us so yeah tomorrow we got our employee picnic or company picnic I should call it it's, uh, it's gonna be a fun day tomorrow just take a day off of not working and enjoying the day <laughs> 